I thought masks were only big in that other city. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on the DC TV show. So today we're going to be talking about the crossover and what some of the stars have teased in regards to how the crossover is going to go down and their interactions with Batwoman. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So as you know, Ruby Rose has been cast as Batwoman in the DC crossover and then also for her own show, which potentially may get a full season and then seasons after we'll have to wait and see how she is received in the crossover but obviously recently there has been a bit of backlash as to the casting of Ruby Rose obviously I don't condone anyone attacking her personally personally I'm not the biggest fan of her as an actor she could bring something totally new that I've never seen of her in loads of her roles that she has been in to Batwoman and I may end up loving her but right now I'm not 100% confident, but I do not condone anyone actually attacking the actress. Just wait and see as to how good she is as Batwoman. And I do have faith in the CW, and I do have faith in her. So, fingers crossed we get an awesome Batwoman. But anyway, let's go over what the new information we have to break down is today. And so, a few days ago, Stephen Amell and Melissa Benoist were able to talk to Digital Spy, so all the reports come from them. And they actually asked Melissa and Stephen some questions as in regards to Batwoman. So, I'm going to be be reading out some quotes and then I'm gonna be breaking it down. So Steven says, I can't say shit. Because we went so big with the crossover last year, you can't go bigger, so you have to go more about the characters and the story. So this is something totally new and this is exactly why Legends of Tomorrow aren't in the crossover and Katie Lotz has confirmed that none of those characters will be popping up and the executive producer of Legends actually said it's just a matter of over cramming due to the crossover being so big in the past few years they want to make it a little bit smaller and that's why they've excluded Legends. Obviously I'm not down with that. I obviously want Legends to be in the crossover. I want it to be the four-way crossover that we've loved so maybe they'll readjust it the year after fingers crossed they do so they have all four shows that being Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow and Legends so this year they're going to go smaller they're going to be studying more about the characters and the story so it's going to be heavily to do with Batwoman which I'm really down for that aspect of it really excited for all the character arcs and how they can go into more depth although there is so many characters like I don't think they're going to be able to go into too much depth as to Batwoman and really anyone for that fact due to the large amount of characters and I think that's why people have loved the last few crossover events is just it was just a nice big event that they could just throw everything at. We can have loads of characters, all our favourite characters together. So I think they're missing out on what the charm of the last two years has been. But again, I'm really excited for the smaller aspect. But I think I would prefer it if it was including the Legends as well. That's just my opinion. So Melissa actually was able to talk to them and these are a few quotes. Throughout the seasons, Kara's had a few funny quips about Batman and her opinions on him. She thinks vigilantes are nuts. So I'm excited to see her meet Batwoman and see how they interact. So what Melissa actually says is really interesting because she says that Kara's quips have been in fact about Batman and her opinions on him, presumably meaning that Batman exists on Earth 38, which is kind of a big revelation if you see it that way. That could be easily missed. Obviously, they don't have to confirm that. That's just Melissa saying, but you know, she's pretty high up in the CW network. Presumably, that means that Batman does exist on their Earth. So that means that Batwoman could exist on Earth 38 or Earth 1. We'll have to wait and see. But it could be either way because Bruce Wayne's been confirmed on Earth 1. And Melissa has seemingly confirmed that Batman exists on Earth 38. So presumably she could come from either. So we'll have to wait and see what Earth Batwoman is from. And so she's excited to see her meet Batwoman because... Kara thinks vigilantes are nuts, we've seen that from when Kara found out about Guardian and obviously this was before she knew it was James, she thought he was absolutely nuts, she did not agree with anything to do with that, with the idea that you wear a mask and you know, you're out of the law and you're not really doing too much in regards to superheroing, it's more, you know, on the streets using weapons and stuff like that, she doesn't agree with that. And so I think with Kara meeting Batwoman, it will be a very big challenge for Kara to 
actually accept it due to the fact that Batwoman actually uses guns. She's the one person in the Bat family that uses guns and so she's pretty hardcore and I think Kara's gonna have a hard time trying to get over the fact that she might have to work with Batwoman. So that is it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Shut